So are you looking for a affordable optic for your rifle, your pistol, AR shotgun maybe? This video is for you. So I'm not like a real big Palmetto Stay Armor guy, but I'm subscribed to their newsletter, their sales flyer, and they do have really good deals on there. And that's usually when I buy stuff. So I'm going to quickly go over what I have here, the prices, and why it's a good thing just to subscribe to their uh, their uh, flyer because it's you know it's free. I get it every day, which is tempting to buy a lot of stuff, but I never do because I know eventually it's going to get on sale. For example, this scope I actually have it on my AR-10 right now. It's the Sig Buckmaster. I've been using a lot of Sig stuff lately just because I don't know they're kind of cool, I guess. So this is a six by twenty-two. Uh, or yeah, sorry, that's the rangefinder, and then the rifle scope is three by nine by fifty. Uh, it's built very well. The lens and looking through it is it's extremely clear. And like I said, I have my AR10. It looks really nice on there. This I want to say is around three hundred dollars. I got it on sale, for, I believe half off for like one fifty. Don't quote me exactly, but it was very affordable so 150 bucks got a good scope and a good range finder you know and then they had this for a one day sale this is a true glow the ignite series supposedly it retails for 199 i don't think i'd ever pay 200 dollars for a true glow site but it is a very nice site i got it on sale for that one day sale for 29.99 literally 30 bucks this is the best $30 red dot that you, you can get. Trust me, this is a nice red dot for 30 bucks. Even the true or the cheap uh, true glow at Walmart, I think they're more than that. I think they're like 35. And they're like the cheap, cheap ones. Comes in a nice case. So, I just I think I just took this out and looked at them. It's like it says they're a night series. Yeah, I put the battery in this one. It actually came with a battery too. It's a triple A battery this one takes. It goes in here and it has different risers too. So it's like a high riser, probably like a maybe an inch. Yeah, probably about an inch. This is a low profile one. It has an Allen key that you just unscrew the screws down there. Sorry. And put this on for low profile. And this has a cover. Let's see if you guys can see. All right, let's see if we can turn it on. It's a it's a pretty crisp red dot. It really is. Uh, you can't turn it from green to red. So that's what I mean. I, I don't think I'd ever pay, you know, two hundred dollars for this. But I like the size of it. Let's see if we can see. It's a twenty-two millimeter single A, two MOA red dot. Uh, is it worth thirty bucks? Yeah, absolutely. This is a damn good red dot. For 30 bucks for like an AR or something. I have their cheaper ones on some ARs. Don't mind that. I got burned somehow. I don't know where, but it looks pretty gross. <laughs> so, and then just turn off. I think I think it automatically turns itself off too. Yep. Okay. So that's the red dot I got for 30 bucks, literally. Okay, now I want to... I've been waiting for one to go on sale. Because I wanted a good red dot for my one of my pistols i'm actually gonna put this probably on my 5.7 because of the size of this i'm kind of picky when it comes to size of red dots like i like bigger ones i have the the sig romeo of all things i do believe in a red dot which is nice but it's pretty small it fits my small one ar pistol good and then this it was 175 i think it was on sale for 75 bucks you can't buy a decent red dot for a pistol for 75 bucks and this is a sig brand so it's you know better than the chinese one well it's probably made in china still but it's better than the ones that you get assembled in america definitely made in china it's definitely better than like the amazon ones probably for 75 bucks and look at the size of this thing it's like perfect size for my 5.7 i have a big 10 millimeter i was gonna put a red dot on this one's too small for it It wouldn't look right but you know for 75 bucks nice lightweight uh comes a battery 
that comes with a battery, a 1632 battery. Choo -choo, security thing. So yeah, I mean, for 75 bucks, uh, I'm gonna put it on my guns. I'm gonna try it. But I just wanted to uh, give this uh, this video a little, get this video out there. That way, if you're looking for you know, something affordable, don't buy like the cheap Amazon watch unless that's all you can afford. You know, I've done it before and it gets you buying a pinch for sure. But if you can sign up for like a newsletter like this and just wait and save a couple extra bucks, buy something for 75 bucks, that's going to work a lot better than, you know, a $30 one. If you can, by all means, do that. And thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to put this, I'm going to put this on my 5.7. We'll try that. I'm going to, I might, I think I'm going to put that on my 400 Legend. Or shotgun. I have another 308. I might put that on too. So we'll try all this out. See how it works. Thanks for watching guys.